Welcome to this first tutorial on how to use EasyClaim. First, start by opening two images to correlate together. Here on the left hand you have the electron micrograph of a synthetic epidermis, reconstituted epidermis. Here on the right side you have the equivalent fluorescence micrograph containing several channels. You have a quantum dot channels containing quant uh, quantum dot aggregates that will be used later on for accurate registration. We have the Hooks channel for uh, highlighting the nucleus. Transmitted light will display melanosomes and uh, various cells and layers of the epidermis. And the transferrin Alexa has been used to label the endosomal network of this uh, epidermis. Now, start by typing in the search bar EC minus CLAM. And as you can see, the software already prompts you out uh, the plugin of interest. Click on it and it will start. Now just follow the logic of the software. You have the option of choosing whether you want to do 2D transformation or 3D. This option, but let me update myself, means that each time you will add a point you will have to click on the update transformation to have the actual uh, transformation calculation, otherwise it will remain static. 3D is doing exactly the same, this is a live mode and if you make it, but let me update myself, you will have to manually update the transformation. Last but not least, you have here the non-rigid 2D or 3D, and you will come back to this in the later, soft, in the later uh, tutorial. Now, let's start. This, I want to pre-process my data, I want to apply a previously tra computed transformation at advanced user will be described in another tutorial. The first thing which is important is to know what do you want to register onto what, which will be the target and which one will be the source. Do you want to locate your electron micrograph into your light microscopy or do you want to locate a fluorescent signal into your electron micrograph? In our case we will locate a uh, fluorescent signal into the electron micrograph. So the source will be the fluorescent micrograph and the target will be the electron micrograph. Then you can start by clearing all landmark points, sometimes by doing your fluorescence analysis or light mi electron microscopy analysis, you add landmarks and they will be disturbing for the registration. So you clear all landmark points and start the plugin. Now that it has started, you can start by adding um, the point into the target uh, image. Always go to the target and adjust on the source. It's written here and here. Place a point here and as you can see it appears on the other side right in the center of the image. Grab it, drag and drop it. Then place a second point and do the same. Get the point, drag and drop it. As you can see the first three points will always appear in the center of the image. This is to sim um, be simply because the transformation is not calculated and the software has no a priori knowledge of the transformation. Then place a point here, drag and drop it. And now that we have enough points, it will calculate the first transformation. Two images are now similar to one another and you can link them together to ease your registration. When you zoom in one image, and you have your mouse on the left hand, you have a cross on the right hand, and vice versa, it's inversing. Now place a point here, and adjust. Notice that when I, when I navigate through the images, I always use the mouse, because the, the, the wheel, because clicking points will add points to, your layer, uh, to the layers. You can add point, and correct them. Now if you want to be more precise, what you can do is you can go onto the quantum dot channels, remove the other channels, quantum dot, boost it a bit, and then you can use the quantum dots as accurate landmarks with a straightforward identification and locate your points. Once you have placed enough points and you think that you have a proper uh, registration, then you can go into the EasyClaim window and click the stop button. To be sure that your points have been accurately aligned, we have a show difference in position and a show predicted error systems. When you zoom in, you can see now that we have an orange circle and a red arrow. The red arrow corresponds to the shift between where the point was placed by the computer and where you shifted it. 
the orange circle gives you a general uh, appreciation of the accuracy of your registration. As you can see, this one is a larger area. We can assume that the registration uh, here in this area is not as precise. The more points you will place, the better the accuracy will be in general. Once you have placed enough points, press the stop button and it will give you two things. First of all, it will create an automatic overlay of all the different channels and it will tell you as well that based on the points that you have placed, you might want to do a non-linear transformation, non-rigid correction. Some cases, this also illustrates that one of the points has been badly placed and is an outlier that you might want to correct. But this will be uh, just uh, addressed in another um, tutorial. Now, if you go here in this overlay, you can switch off the transmitted light, boost the electron microscopy signal, and adjust the histogram display. And as you can see now, the first spots have been placed and the transformation has been overlaid. The accuracy is not perfect, and this is due to the fact that I don't have enough points and that I haven't done any nonlinear registration. We will address this question in the next tutorial. Thank you.